All right, <clears throat> I think it's time to put the cylinder head on. So, I think this uh, episode, welcome back by the way guys. This episode's gonna be installing these uh, ARP head studs. I'd already cleaned out all the threads. So, and the uh, long ones do go on the outside. So, there's our cylinder. So, the hash marks. Hashtag. Just, that's the lube. Looks like it was already scarring, but that's just lube. So, it's just lube from all the assembly lube that I put on the pistons and stuff so I will just keep going so I'm going to start with the uh, long ones so they're just going to go on the outside they want everything finger tight, ARP says. So all the oil, all the junk is cleaned up out of the, uh, <sighs> whatchamacallit, out of the cylinders, all the, where the head gasket sits. The head gasket sits, there's no oil. I cleaned it all off camera, of course. This is why I feel like when people do the head studs, with the head still installed, I know they do one at a time, blah blah blah, but, um, but you don't get the good uh, clamping force down because you need to uh, clean those threads. So when you take the old stuff off, Uh, you take the old ones out, and there's still a bunch of contaminants down inside that hole. And uh, your bolts are not going to seat all the way down. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen the videos. I have. But uh, they'll have one stud that's like a half inch longer than the rest of the studs. That's because they didn't clean out the threads. So, going all the way down, I'm backing it out, backing it out, and then finger tightening. Back it out, finger tighten. It's tight. Oh, man. I might have went a little, okay, let's finger tighten. That's all the way. So, anyway, this is a, uh, all these series are going to be taking place in basically two days. I've been at it for two days. Nothing crazy. I'm just getting that one in real quick. That one's a little tight, tighter than I like. So, I'm just gonna go all the way down. Head studs will be, you know, all kinds of different sizes. You know, this one will be taller than this one. That's why I would prefer, that's why I haven't done it on my kit truck. I'd rather pull the head. If I can pull the head, 
you pull the head, it just makes life so much easier. So, but yeah, I don't know. Pretty, I'm pretty hungry, is all I could say. Really hungry. So, anyway, they don't say to put any of the stupid ultra torque on the bottoms of these studs. So, I will not be doing that. Doesn't doesn't just say to do any of that. What's wrong? Anyway, so I won't say that this motor will be bulletproof. However, it'll be more bulletproof than what was in the truck. I guess. So, we paint all these probably off camera because this crap is boring. Boring to you, boring to me. That's not a hole. That's right at all, anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and zip all these down real quick, and uh, I will be back. Put the head gasket on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Get this. All the head studs are in. And, uh, yeah. We'll get the head gasket real quick. So it's a Cummins multi layer head gasket. So, uh, yeah, let me just. Open this truck up and slap it on. So, you can obviously only go one way. <sighs> Not looking forward to this. Gonna be really, 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 really heavy. So let me uh, get it out of the box. All right, you guys are about to watch a grown man cry. I'm just gonna clean the bottom of the cylinder head real quick. Give me this rag. This way. It's all good. Get myself hyped up for a little bit. <sighs> Take a picture of this. So this head was all tested. Everything was good on this. Let me just show you guys the bottom because otherwise you'll never see the bottom. So, like I said, it was tested. 
Magna fluxed everything, all the valve seats were redone, or the valve, yeah, the valve stems, valve seals, everything's brand new on this. Um, the, uh, the valves were seated, everything was good. So, and they put, uh, new freeze plugs in here. They did everything to the head. So, there's Johnny. Here I go. Okay. Watch the face. It's freaking high. It's pretty high. Alright. Oh no, those bullshits. That was my back. Just kidding. some of the stuff I do. All right. Here we go. Oh, freak the same as a ton. Stupid, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Hurry up, camera. Turn off so I can do it. I think I got this, especially with no food in my body. to wait. I'm gonna wait till the kid comes home. Cause I gotta make the money. So part two on this <sighs> anyway uh, yeah I can't do it it's too high if the I think if the motor was down here top of the motor I think I could do it actually wonder wonder if I could rotate the motor and put it on I think I'm on and then I don't know if I'm going to be able to rotate it back. <laughs> Never mind. I'll wait till the kid. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a like. Subscribe. Subscribe up here. Comment below how retarded this video is. And what you guys think. Check out uh, my previous video over here. Subscribe over there. Check out my boy one and Glenn. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching. Go down to the playlist. 6-7 Cummins build. Check it out. Later.